lesbian year! Speaking truth to power! Talking to about the working class, the chance for the working class to have our own uh, interpretation of the issues that surround us every day. We hear from the corporations, we hear from the corporate media, we hear from the television stations, the radio stations, we hear from all of this, but when do we have a chance to hear from ourselves? When do you have a chance to hear from a theater that doesn't take money from corporations? That doesn't have corporate sponsorship? We are a company that for the last 60 years has done everything we can to bring down corporate capitalism one musical comedy at a time. <laughs> so let you know we are going to have a couple of events later this year, including on October 7th at the newly refurbished uh, Presidio Theater, actually on post. It's going to be one of the first events there, so go to our website and check it out. Like we said, also check out our app. It tells you where we are, when we are, and why we are, and you can donate through it, too. Uh, one of the things about this, keep, people keep coming up to us. It's not that long. Don't worry about it. I get that a lot. <laughs> people keep saying to us, uh, is everything in this show true? All this stuff? Yes! It's true! We are always, as the workers, we're pushed onto the worst, most poisoned land. Land that has been, uh, it's toxic and nuclear and, and it's radioactive, and that's the land that they push us or people of color onto. And then after a few decades, they hope everyone's forgotten how bad it is. And then they suddenly, they kick everybody off. They, they, they say it's not worth human inhabitation anymore. And then after a few more years, they start building on it again. This is how we are treated in a city. But the thing is, people forget. A city isn't the buildings. A city isn't the politicians. A city isn't the corporate leaders. The city is the people. So whenever we allow this stuff to happen, we are allowing it to happen. It's not happening despite us. These are our elected officials. These are our employees. And we are allowing them to screw us over. So we have to remember our city, our time, our taxes, and we have to make sure that the city is a place that we can live in. As I'm sure most of you guys know, the vast majority of homeless people in San Francisco used to pay rent in San Francisco. They lived here. They worked here. They're not strangers who are shipped in from another town. They're not the homeless from Michigan or, or Lansing or Cleveland. These are our neighbors, our friends, our families, our uh, local business people. All of these people who through no uh, fault of their own have ended up homeless, but we have been allowed we have allowed ourselves to alien ourselves, alienate ourselves from them, and believe the press when it says these are foreigners, these are weirdos, these are people who don't give them money, you'll just encourage them. To what? <laughs> you know, I mean, this idea that if you give homeless people, look, if I was homeless, I'd be drunk all the time. You know, and I don't even drink now. Because it's a hard life. And if we want to help these people, we have to do much more than just give them money, but do that too. We have to change our entire society to make sure that it benefits we, the working class, first. It's time for us to start trickling down on the corporations. So in the meantime, and now as you've noticed, you have been surrounded by members of the San Francisco Mind Troop. And like I said, this is your chance to pay for free theater. People think everyone's going to go, hey, the Mind Troop, you guys go out in the parks and do shows. That's great. Then you go back to your homes and with your free, free rent and you put on your free clothes and you eat free food. No! We're a professional theater company. We are not a community theater, but we are the community's theater. And there is a difference. So when you're thinking about how much money to give us, you, the younger people, think about what you paid to see, say, your last Avengers film. Give us at least that. For those of you who are visiting from New York, give us what you paid to see your last Broadway show. Give us what you paid to see something in ACT or Berkeley Rep or Theater Works. All fine theaters, but we have a Tony too. And you may not know this, like every person in the mind trip, from the a non-equity actor who's worked with us never before to our general manager, everybody's paid the same amount of money. We don't have that kind of hierarchy. We want to try to, to be the company that we want the world to be. So anyway, when you're giving us your money, think about that. We do take checks also if you're living in the 21st century and you're thinking, hey, I don't carry cash anymore. No excuse. You can swipe 
use a card, come see me, come see Lizzie, and you can donate to your heart's content. And if you like the show, tell your friends. If you didn't like the show, tell your enemies. Tell everybody you know who hasn't seen the show that yet, because they're not quite as cool as you are. Thanks a lot for coming. See you next time.